if you want to adjust the currency in a database, you just open the one you want to adjust. For example, here we have US dollar. Then we click on it, click on edit property. And as you can see here now, it's the number format US dollar. For example, in this case, you want to change it to Euro. We just click on Euro, we can close it. And as we can see, all of them are in Euro right now. It also changed for the one below. So yeah, all of them in Euro right now. In the case of the spendings, we have to change it again as those two are not the same database and a change only occurs to the database where you're changing it in and also just the property you're changing it. So in this case, we again have to click on Euro and now all in this database are in the current Euro. And the final one is the balance one. Again, it's its own database and we have to click on it. Then we have to click on the ones we're interested in. For example, we do want the balance calculations to be in a different currency. Again, we click on the US dollar and then we click on the euros and we can see now it's in euros, all of them. And finally, we have to change the calculation property. Again, edit property. And now we have to go in them. And as you can see here, it defines in the formula income as dollar. If you just change it in um, to euro in our case, then you click on done. You can see it's zero. We do the same with spendings. Just change the dollar sign to the euro sign. Then we click on done. And completely the same here. Change the dollar sign into the euro sign. We click on done. And if we close it now, we can see all of those boxes that change euros because they are all in the same database and all the same property.